Hello Embers, welcome to the channel, Final Flame here, and today I am finally going to share my thoughts on the whole GameSpot article regarding, you know, the Genshin Impact Endgame. If you guys have not already seen, plenty of content creators have already spoken about this. Zeox, I, oh my, my I, spe I said that wrong so bad, Zyox, Tectone, Mtash, so, so many different content creators. Even some content creators I wasn't expecting something from, like chilling with Aster. Uh, but yeah, um, there is a lot of, you know, people not very happy with what Obioverse has said in this interview. And I can definitely understand the sentiment 100%. But... I already know a majority of this, so I'm really just going to talk about the end game Spiral Abyss thing, how they don't really want to focus on producing more content similar to that that is focused around combat. So quick thing, let me give you guys my background on Genshin Impact and why I played. So when I saw Genshin Impact, there were like three reasons I really, really wanted to play Genshin Impact. I thought there was going to be co-op. I thought that the world and characters looked amazing. And I loved the combat system. So, after, you know, a year or so, it was pretty clear to me that not much was happening on the co-op side. The world and adventuring was amazing. And the combat system was pretty, pretty good. I was honestly really hoping for them to eventually put some more combat into the game. But over time, after the first year, I kind of accepted that it didn't seem like they were going to do it anytime soon. Now, that never meant that I didn't think they weren't eventually going to do it, but it might have taken like four, maybe five years before they do that. But after this interview, I'm kind of sad because it looks like they might just never add anything else to the game combat wise, which is something I really, really did not expect. So let me see. Yeah, here it is. So currently, Spiral Abyss is the only true endgame content for players at higher adventure ranks. Are there any plans to release new permanent endgame content in the same vein as the Spiral Abyss? So, you know, basically they gave their answer about that. I went through it already. And I will say this. I have grown to enjoy the other aspects of Genshin Impact's endgame. The Serenity Pot, Adventuring. Well, that was something I actually enjoyed initially. But like Serenity Pot, I did not really care for it when it initially came out. But over time, I actually grew to enjoy it. I even started like, you know, messing around with my teapot designs. I have like a nice little plot that I always mess with and keep it looking pretty. So I will say that over time, I have gotten used to the other forms of Endgame and I can completely understand like this game is not made for the hardcore player base, but just because it doesn't focus on the hardcore player base for the most part doesn't mean that it should really just, you know, leave it abandoned on the wayside. I do feel that there is still room that they can still, you know, keep the game for mostly casuals, but then still, you know, throw a bone every once in a while to the hardcore players that have been sticking with the game and just want to, you know, enjoy the combat system. Because the fact that they're not really trying to push anything combat-wise for content is kind of concerning due to the fact that a big big draw of this game is the combat system that's the main reason i've been playing and from what i've been seeing about other content creators that's the main reason a lot of them have still kept playing because they find the combat system amazing intuitive and just fascinating to test with and i can't believe that they actually feel that you know players are going to feel anxiety due to the fact that not everybody is interested in, to spot in Spiral Abyss. Now, I can, I can get some point of that because I do understand that players might feel a bit pressured to push and keep pushing in Spiral Abyss in order to get their free Primo gems. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like that's really the true source of player anxiety. I mean, it's a gotcha game. All Hoyoverse does is make people fear on missing out on new characters especially right now with the five week cycle characters have been coming out like back to back to back if you don't have your primo gems in you know in check 
you're going to miss a character. And I've seen a lot of people, you know, pull out the wallet just because they don't want to miss a character when they come out because everybody else is playing the character. So, I mean, you're, you, the game already <laughs> puts a lot of anxiety on players from just that aspect alone. Now, I haven't really met anybody that has felt anxiety from like Spiral Abyss and feels like they have to do it. But I'm not saying that there aren't people out there. I could imagine that people do feel like they're required to do it due to the Primo Gem reward. But then this leads to the point like why doesn't Hoyoverse just introduce something that doesn't have to do with Primo Gems that can still be useful to the player base. Like it can have some materials that go towards Ascension like we already do for events or maybe it can just be Mora. At the end of the day, I oh man, the main thing I really want is just dungeons, like raids or dungeons. That would be something really, really good, co-op based, a nice little challenge event that you can do with your friends, because I feel like that would be great for combat, and it would bring the co-op back to Genshin Impact and really improve it. Now, I have nothing against the TCG. I think the TCG is a great idea. I actually enjoy the Serena Teapot. That's another form of in-game that's already in the game. And I do feel like, yes, they have to try and, you know, cater to everybody. Not everybody is a hardcore sweaty player like I am. Some people just want to chill and hang out in their teapot or play, you know, TCG and just hang out in their world. And I get that. I feel like there should be room for both players. But at the end of the day, while I do feel like they do have to cater to the majority, which is a casual player, I have to admit that the casual player is the majority for Genshin Impact. They have to be willing to throw a bone for the hardcore players, too, because it's not like it's a significant portion of players that aren't hard, that are, sorry, are hardcore. There's a good chunk of the community that's hardcore, especially the community that's pretty active on like social media and such. Now, I'm not saying that's everybody, but they're, a good chunk of those people are hardcore players that have been sticking with the game because of the combat system. And I think at the end of the day, Everybody that plays Genshin, for the most part, enjoys the con combat to a certain point. So, I feel like just, you know, throwing that to the side is something that really, really isn't something that, how do I say this? Isn't something that is the best decision by Hoverse. Now, the thing is this. I have hope that maybe down the road it, it might take a few years and for some people that might be too long but maybe down the road in two or three years they'll finally think about adding more combat permanent systems to the game but until then for the most part i think it's safe to say we're probably not getting anything combat oriented outside of you know the occasional like difficult event settings where you get to, you know, Vagabond Sword, Hypostatic Symphony, those kind of events. Other than that, it's basically seems like uh, us hardcore players are going to have to make it through the drought, <laughs> if you will. But, you know, I'm in this game for the long haul. I ain't leaving until I get myself the Pyro Archon. And I just want to know you guys' opinions down below in the comment section. You know, just let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like... This is something that they should really avoid, or do you agree with their statement? Personally, I can definitely see why they want to cater to the casual players, but at the same time, they have to be willing to throw a bone to the hardcore players as well, especially the players that are focused on combat, because there's a good chunk of people that love the combat system, I myself included. But again, I digress. There's not much we can do about it now. It seems like Hoyo versus made its choice. I would say this. If you are, you know, against this, be be vocal. Fill out your surveys. Send messages to, you know, customer support. Just let them know that you guys want combat systems. I'm not saying go out there and one-star review them. I'm not saying do all that. I'm just saying, you know, be vocal about it. Let Hoyoverse know that the community that loves the combat system is here and now, you know, and we're, we're, we're ready and willing to get some uh, content. <laughs> but other than that, I just want you guys to remember to keep burning bright and I will talk to all of you embers next time. Until then, let's